Um, we're so excited to have Nellie Kelly with us from Big Brothers and Big Sisters, and I'm going to hand it over to her to tell us about their organization. Thank you, Mercedes, and thank you to everybody at Blue Cross Blue Shield. Thank you for supporting the United Way. That is so wonderful to have uh, such nice support from companies. We uh, at Big Brothers Big Sisters are a United Way agency and are so appreciative of their support. I like to think of the United Way kind of like the good housekeeping seal of approval. You know, if you remember Good Housekeeping ma Magazine would kind of run consumer products through the rigors so that you would know you're not going to be taken advantage of, right? If you buy this particular brand of soap or um, tissue paper, then you you know that it's got this seal of approval. That's what I think of with the United Way, because you don't have to wonder, is my donated dollar going to go to good use or not? You can be sure that if the United Way is supporting that organization, that they have volunteers that are looking at the budget, looking at program outcomes, um, looking at administrative overhead expenses so you can feel good about where your donated dollar is going. At Big Brothers Big Sisters, the reason I wanted to join you is to tell you how much we need you to be a big. We need big brothers, big sisters, and big couples. Any two people in a committed relationship can qualify to be a big couple. And what mentorship means, I like to think of mentorship as like a, a birthday present. You know, the thing that gets you excited or that gets me excited is the wrapping. That wrapping paper and the pretty bow and the tissue paper coming out of the pretty bag. I got a, a present the other day with a flamingo on the bag. Oh, it was so pretty. Well, what if I had opened it and there was nothing in there? It would have been a little on the disappointed side, no matter how pretty the wrapping is. So that is, to me, the wrapping is the things that we see that bigs do with littles. It's the playing basketball on the weekends, going to the gathering place. Oh, my little and I, we love to get ice cream. We love to go to all the different taco trucks and try out the different tacos. Those are the fun activities that our bigs do with their littles that build relationships. But really what's inside the box is the important thing. It's encouragement. It's being a role model. It's helping kids who are struggling, um, kids who may not have that dedicated adult in their corner, who need a little bit more socialization, a little more encouragement to stay in school, to watch their grades, to not start smoking early, to stay in school. Um, you know, that's what's inside that present. That's the important part of mentorship. When you have a chance, I would love for you to look up the Adverse Childhood Experiences Study. It's all about childhood trauma and the different really serious things that our kids are enduring, uh, being abused, living with um, an adult who is mentally ill or suicidal, having an incarcerated parent, you know, really hard things in their childhood, not just simple stresses that come and go, like first day of school jitters, you know, that would be a temporary stress, but these are really pretty thick, heavy traumas that kids are living through. And research is showing more and more that having that consistent, caring adult in the corner of the child, that is the best counterbalance that we have for all that adversity that's weighing kids down. So what can you do? Well, the thing that just regular people can do because I certainly don't want to downplay professional therapy, medications, sports coaches, you know, all those things play a role. But research is showing that one-on-one -on -one mentor relationship is evidence-based practice as far as how to help kids overcome and be resilient when they are living through a lot of traumas. That's true of a lot of kids in Oklahoma because we have such high rates of childhood adversity, and it's especially true of the kids we serve at Big Brothers Big Sisters. We 
specifically are looking for kids who need that little bit of encouragement, that person who says, you can do this. Let me show you a different way. Let's try that again. You're a great friend. We'll try that together. You can do it. We can learn it. That's what kids really need. And that's what we need from the community is people who step up and say, hey, I could spend a couple hours a month mentoring a kid. Hey, I can go to the gathering place and go feed the ducks at, at the pond. I can do that. And it would really make a difference in the life of a child. So our website is bigoklahoma.org bigoklahoma.org. You can apply to be a big on our website. We would love it. We want you to be able to get through that, that process very smoothly. We certainly don't want an application to stand in people's way if they want to be a mentor. So bigoklahoma.org is where you can go to sign up. Or my name is Nellie Kelly. You can always call and speak to me. I would love to give you more information. Also on our website, you can sign up um, on our volunteer page to take my webinar. So every Monday at lunch, I lead a webinar and we'll give you all the ins and outs. But really what we've talked about is the bulk of it, that there are kids who need you. Yeah, it's fun. Yeah, I don't wanna downplay the fact that mentorship is fun. It is, but it's more than that. It's really important because kids have a high level of need to have that caring, consistent adult in their lives. Thank you very much, Mercedes. Well, thank you so much, Nellie. I know I was at the Zero Mental Health Symposium virtually last week and in the sessions there, they were talking about ACEs and that really that that caring adult in the on the side of the kid is truly a pivotal factor in making sure kids have the best opportunity. So Thanks for everything Big Brothers and Big Sisters does, and thanks for taking time to share with us today. You are so welcome. And I'm going to stop our recording, but then for our live folks, we can ask any questions.